Hello children, today on the chapter 7 we are going to see about what is the cylinder pattern. Now well, let's see what is cylinder. The line that divides the symmetrical figure in two parts and that are exactly the same, we call it as a line of symmetry. When you're going to divide any, any object and that into two parts and that gives to the exactly the same, we call it as a line of symmetry. And here we have the line of symmetry for tree and triangle. When you divide it and all the parts are exactly the same, so we call it as a line of symmetry. The next one step, what we are going to see is turning of shape. Turning of shape consists of two. This a quarter turn and half a turn. This quarter turn and half a turn concept, we can relate it with a fraction. We can relate it with a fraction chapter. So in that in fraction chapter, you all knew that quarter is nothing but 1 by 4, and half is nothing but 1 by 2. So quarter is nothing but here. In the first picture, you can find an arrow facing the upward direction. When you are going to change it a quarter turn in clockwise direction, which means that it comes towards the rightward direction, upward direction. Coming towards the rightward direction as we turn it in the hands of the clock when you rotate it, we call that as a quarter turn. So half a turn is nothing but when an upward direction comes with a turn, half a turn, it faces the downward direction. That is when you rotate it in your clockwise direction, upward direction first comes towards the rightward direction and then it comes again down. And faces a downward direction, which is nothing but a half a turn. And some shapes, certain shapes like circle and square, it remains the same even when you turn it after a quarter turn or half a turn. It remains the same. It doesn't change its direction. And the next we are going to see about number pattern. So number also forms the pattern. The very easiest pattern, what we can see under number pattern is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and goes on. So in order to get a next number, you need to simply add 1 and that makes the pattern here. And the next set of pattern is 4, 6, 8 and 10. It's actually a pattern of consecutive even number. To get the next number, we need to add the first number here is 2. In order to get the next number, we have to add 2. So, 2 plus 2 makes 4. And this, and again you need to add 2. So, already there we have 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Things goes on like that. And the last pattern is 1, 2, 4, 7, 11. This is also a pattern. So, in order to get the second number, you need to add 1 to the first number. Get the third number, you need to add to the to the second number. Like that it goes on and forms a number pattern. And the next one is next. So next is nothing but when you are going to take a solid shape and when it, when it is opened out and unfolded into flat shape. This unfolded flat shape of a solid we call it as the net of the solid. So here in the first picture we have a cube. You are going to open that and when it is unfolded, or when you are making it, when you are making a flat shape, that becomes the flat top of cube. And likewise, we are half of cuboid. So this is cuboid shape. When you are going to open it, make it a flat shape and that becomes a flat top of cuboid. And the last cone. So when you are going to open the uh, cone shape, and then make it a flat shape and this, this becomes a flat top of cone. So that's all about the topics mincing, pattern and nets. Thank you children.